And the preview now for race number four on the program at Sha Tin, and it's over the 1400 metres. It is a class four. Indigenous realms on the class drop and back in trip from the 1600 to the 1400 metres. Lifeline Vision has his second look in class four. Millennium Falcon carries an extra four pounds for a senior rider. Beauty Life steps up in trip after a debut third over the 1200 metres. Robot Warrior, his first race day appearance since September. He's had the two trials. Super Hornet, he's up to the 1400 metres after his first start was over the 1200. Nordic Warrior, Blake Shin and Richard Gibson off a winner at Happy Valley on Wednesday night. Win Charm is up in trip to the 1400 metres and Zhengji Stemina ran 11th last time. He was Aurora. He comes back to the 1400 after racing over the mile, Dom. Not a lot of pace in this race and so looking at it on paper, it certainly lacks a clear and obvious leader. It might be left to Antoine Hamlin to stoke up dandy years in the early stages to go forward here. Or the alternate leader is Indigenous Realm because he's been handy in two of his four starts. Uh, Vukan from 14 to a slide across. Uh, Dasset last start was wide at the rear and didn't do too much. Of the rest, uh, Beauty Live uh, was good first up but has drawn tricky here in Barrier 12 and Millennium Falcon got really keen on the turn last start. He's probably somewhere, maybe midfield, a fraction worse. Well, our first replay, Nick, is Lifeline Vision. He loved the class drop this day. This by far his best performance. He rattles home to run second behind Running Glory. Yeah, really good run there. So the winner got the uh, the lovely run up the inside to go and score. But uh, take nothing away from Lifeline Vision, who's, uh, who's run uh, arguably one of his best races, if not the best race uh, here in Hong Kong to date. So obviously, he's run on strongly. He was uh, he was a decent price this day, Tom. I don't think it'd be the same price um, this time around. This was this was very eye catching. He goes into the top four. He got into a, a suitable race. He last start. He started off a mark of seventy one. He got down to sixteen, and he's finally able to uh, have shown uh, to be a little bit uh, competitive for their uh, lifeline vision. Certainly was uh, making good inroads there late in the race. Yeah, he sure was, and carries one hundred and thirty three pounds again this week. Now we picked the replay up here, Tom, from the six hundred meter mark. Charge on in those blue colours back in the field. This run by Millennium Falcon was massive. I guess the concern could be, has it flattened him because he was big in defeat? I don't think it will have flattened him. He just didn't have an experienced rider on last to start. Not knocking Jerry Chow at all. It's just, it's just the, the kind of horse he is. He's not an easy ride. Uh, he was caught wide, then he tried to take charge on the turn and uh, hit uh, somewhere else. But look, to his credit, he stayed on pretty well, uh, Nick, and uh, he needs to be kept safe with Zach Purton going back on. He certainly does, Tom. I mean, it's very rare that a horse, you know, as pulled like he has, run off the bend slightly and uh, and is able to to still finish second like that. So I think the run can certainly be upgraded. As for Char John, he's getting back to a, a winnable sort of mark. He's only a point higher than his last success, so uh, he could be one just to keep on the right side of. And Zach riding Millennium Falcon to victory two starts ago. Beauty Live bumped into a really smart horse on debut in Flying Ace. He's up to the 1,400 metres. Joe Marira rides and Nick caught up with Joe yesterday morning out of track work. Joe Beauty Live was a horse that you rode on debut. Ran a, a super third. Uh, was staying on quite nicely and goes up in trip this weekend. Yeah, and I, I guess he's going to appreciate that. And he, as you said yourself, he, 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 his first run was very good. He, he got far back. Looks like he wasn't going to go anywhere on, on the bank, but he picked up at the finish and he, he ran home very nicely. So... Um, with that step up in distance, that, that might be the key to get him to win his first race. And I know given, obviously, as you say, on the bend, it was, it was noticeable that you had to sort of ask a question of him. Uh, I mean, it might not have been necessarily a positive on that occasion, but I guess going forward, it's, it's certainly something that can, uh, can sort of work in his favour, I suppose, going up in trip. Yeah, when you get a horse that does what he's done at, um, on the, it's their first debut, their first race, it, that indicates to you that he, they've got ability. You just have to work around with, with it and, and make sure that they, 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 think, they do things better in the future. And I think that's going to be the case with this guy this, time, this term. He, he seems like he's going to have a great finishing. He might be able to put himself a little bit closer, so that might be, just be enough to get him to win his first race. Uh, and just on, obviously, this, perhaps the running style, um, to go that little bit closer, is Barrier 12 as, as big a negative on paper as it might be in reality, or are you not too favourable? Uh, Gate 12 is always a negative point, but um, we have to deal with it, and we are going to deal with it the best we can. Um, not sure where, where Frank is going to ask me to be in the race with him, but I can say he might be able to put himself midfield better just because we're stepping up in distance. And that is Joe's thoughts on Beauty Live. So race number four it is, Tom, who made your top four? 
Looking for some value in this race, Sir Mark, with the number three charge on. He's only one point off his last win, and that was off a mark of 55. He's marked 56 here, and he's at 20 to 1 at the moment. Uh, David Hall's stable's going relatively well. Matthew Poon gets on well with the horse, and he's a two time winner, course and distance. So, charge on on top ahead of Millennium Falcon. Uh, Beauty Live was good first up behind uh, Flying Ace, and Lifeline Vision goes in as well. Three, four, five, and two. Yeah, I agree with all the comments Tom's made about his top pick there. I didn't actually manage to find a spot for him, though, uh, but I do think he can run well. I've got my beauty live on top, though. I, I thought he was a definite player going up in trip. I think it's really going to suit. Millennium Falcon, obviously, that run last time was huge. He'll run well again. Obviously, Zach's taking over. Uh, Lifeline Vision made it in for me, Horse 2. His recent run was very good. And um, a Robot Warrior, I thought he was an interesting one at odds. Horse number 7 here, having been off the track for uh, a little while. 5, 4, 2 and 7 for me. It's a preview for race number four, which also doubles as the first leg of Sunday's Triple Trio.